friends, it's Bible story time today, and today I have one short story for us. But first we have to do our four actions to get started. Here's a reminder, we're going to point up to God the Father, we're going to make a cross for Jesus the Son, flames for the Holy Spirit, and a thumbs up for amen. Will you join me please? Here we go, let's do it together. We begin in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Today's story is a great story about one of the nicknames that Jesus has. One of the many names or ways, uh, terms that we use um, for Jesus. And this one comes from John the Baptist, who we've been hearing about the last few weeks. So today's story is called The Lamb of God. Here we go. John the Baptist was always talking about Jesus. He talked and he talked and he talked. The day after John baptized Jesus, he saw Jesus walking toward him on a busy road. Look, everyone, the Lamb of God, John said to the people around him. John told everyone about how God sent Jesus to earth. He let the people know that Jesus was the Lamb of God, which meant he would save everyone from the bad things that they do in their lives. Then he explained what had happened after he baptized Jesus. A dove came down from heaven and God said, This is my son who I love. Day after day, whenever John saw Jesus, he told the crowds that Jesus was the Lamb of God. As people heard what John said, they became followers of Jesus too. All right, so here's today's picture. Over here is John the Baptist. He's telling all the people that look over there. There's Jesus. He's the Lamb of God, the one who will save us from our sins and all the bad things that we do. And then there are all sorts of people who are following Jesus. And today, if you want to get out your little green wormy finger and wiggle, 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 the wormy is hiding there with all the followers of Jesus. Hiding there. Can you see him? Oh, there he is right there, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger right there. Wow. Some of the other fun names for Jesus are the Good Shepherd, or the Light of the World, or the Bread of Life. There's all sorts of fun names that we call Jesus. And... The Lamb of God is one of those that's a very, very special one that helps us remember that Jesus saves us from all the bad things that we do and forgives us and loves us unconditionally. Well, thanks for doing a short little story with me this week. Next week, we hear a great story about how Jesus goes into the desert by himself and he'll be tempted. Oh, it's a really exciting story with some interesting pieces and I'll look forward to sharing it with you next time. But now it's time for us to pray. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, the Lamb of God, the one who saves us and forgives us for all the bad things that we do. Help me to be like John and tell everyone about Jesus. In his name, amen. How fun to be with you today, friends. I look forward to reading you another story from the Spark Story Bible again next time. If you don't have one of these special Bibles at home and you'd like one, please let me know. I'd be happy to make sure you have your very own book at home. All right, friends, we'll see you again next time. Oh, we need to end our story time the way we began. Do it with me, please. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time.